I want to tell you that since 8 o'clock this morning, I have been in the Cabinet Office looking at the Chilcot Report. And friends, I can tell you that it confirms just about all of your worst fears. It, confirm, it confirms what we know, that Tony Blair lied when he took this country to war on a false prospectus. It lays bare for us to see that he made commitments to George Bush six months before he stood up in Parliament saying Saddam Hussein could still avoid war. That was not true and we will hold him to account. He lied by setting standards for the weapons inspectors which he knew would be impossible for those weapons inspectors to meet. He lied by pulling those weapons inspectors out of Iraq before he knew they had been able to finish the job that had been set for them. He lied when he said that the threat from weapons of mass destruction was growing when he knew there was no evidence to make that case. And so friends, we have been right to be holding Blair to account. We are right to say that he should be held to account to the highest level possible in this country. <laughs> Friends, I believe that Tony Blair is a war criminal. But tragically, if you look at the legal situation of the International Criminal Court, we are being told that at the minute, we don't have the right recourse at that court to hold him to account. Because everything that I've seen in that Chilcot report lays clear that this war was an illegal war. Chilcot says very clearly the war was not a last resort. The diplomatic means had not been pursued. And one of the most shocking things about looking at that report is the cavalier way in which Tony Blair put the lives at risk of our own service personnel as well as the lives of people in Iraq. One of the shocking things I found was that there was no understanding of how the decision to move from being active in one province to four provinces was ever even taken. It simply doesn't say who took that decision, who to be held to account for it. Basically, cabinet was sidelined. Blair took these decisions with a tiny group of people sidelining even his own attorney general. So friends, we must make sure that this can never be allowed to happen again. Serious changes need to happen to our parliament, the way in which it works, as well as continuing to hold Blair to account. So I just want to thank you for everything that you've done since 2003 and before to try to fight against this war. And now that it has happened to continue, come what may, to hold those responsible to account. I believe this Chilcot report helps us in that aim. And I will be with you every step of the way. Thank you.